Hey guys, it is Patrick here and I wanted you to know before you dive right into this accounting information systems lesson that the accompanied worksheet is available for download if you head to my website at www.patricklymsa.com or I'll leave the link directly to that worksheet down in the description below. Click on that, download the worksheet and print it out and that way you can follow along the accounting information systems lecture that I'm about to teach. So it has all the notes that I'm going to be going over. All you need to do is write your notes and fill in those blanks. So make sure you do that. And here is your AIS lesson. All right, in this lesson, we're going to go over the supply chain. The supply chain is a bigger look at what we would think about as the value chain. Uh, the supply chain has to do with external parties rather than the value chain, which is all internal parties. Now, we're talking about the supply chain because the accounting information systems that we start to develop can help with our supply chain and provide good information to everybody on the supply chain. So it's important to understand what the supply chain is so that we can take our AIS system, design it in a way to maximize that supply chain. So let's start get started with understanding some basics here of the supply chain. So a company's value chain is part of a larger chain also known as the supply chain chain. Now, an extended system, what is a supply chain? Well, it's an extended system that includes an organization's value chain, as well as its suppliers, distributors, and customers. And the way that I like to think about it is we've got this supply chain, and within each supply chain, each company or customer or organization has their own value chain within itself. So we've got value chain in every one of these components of the supply chain. Now, what is the supply chain? Well, this is a look at the supply chain and what kind of it is at the end of the day. So we've got the raw material suppliers. That's kind of where everything starts, right? So we've got this raw material suppliers that's providing wood to our company so that we can produce cabinets for new homes, for instance. Those raw material suppliers are part of this supply chain that goes to the manufacturer, then that manufacturer manufactures it, and then they sell it to maybe a distributor. That distributor then sells it to a retailer, and then that retailer sells that product to the end user or consumer. Now, other than the customer, each part of the supply chain has their own value chain. So the raw material supplier is gonna have their own value chain, manufacturer their own value chain, distributors, retailers, and the customer probably is not going to have their own value chain because they're not going to sell the product to someone else. They're, they're the final user of the product. But that's the supply chain. And when we think about accounting information systems and how it impacts the supply chain, you've got to remember that we can use data within our accounting information systems to hook up this entire supply chain. We talked about that before, right, with Home Depot. And we said, look, we can actually take information in our AIS system, uh, such as inventory, and we can actually extrapolate that to a website in which customers down here can look at our website and see how many units we have available at any one of our stores so that they can make the informed decision on whether or not they should go into the stores to buy the product or maybe hold off until later on when that product gets restocked. In addition, we're able to hook up our AIS system to our distributors back here and show them in real time how much we have left of their product on our shelves. And based on an agreement that we might have with them, they may be authorized to send more product to us at predetermined intervals where we don't even have to send them a PO, they just automatically go ahead and send that product to our stores so that we can go ahead and restock our shelves in almost real time. That's much better than waiting for us to send a PO order to them a week later and then wait another week for it to get processed and then the product's finally back in our store. We can give them real-time information to restock our shelves in matter of moments rather than in weeks. And so when we think about how accounting information systems can affect the supply chain, we can provide the data, the connection, and the throughput for all of this information, all of this chain here that's part of the supply chain. So understanding the supply chain is important because we're gonna be seeing how we can take a lot of our data and connect it with other entities to be able to get 
the best, the very best of information we need in order to make some quick decisions within our organization. So that is our supply chain. And this is the last lesson here in this first section. Now in the next lesson, we're actually going to do some review questions to help you just solidify the things that we've been teaching here in the last 12, 11 lessons. So until then, we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. If you're looking for the next lesson, make sure you hit up that lesson right over here. And if you are looking for the entire accounting information systems course, make sure you head to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com where I have the full AIS course available to you. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.